So we have now incorporated uh, comprehensive chromal screening, chromosomal screening to a good number of our patients. Uh, it has slowly built up, so we're probably in the range of about 30% of our patients are now getting biopsies of the embryos. I think ultimately our goal is to have one healthy baby, and this really does assist us in isolating one normal euploid embryo and transferring a single embryo. Clearly, when I do an IVF consultation, I talk to everybody that this is a service that is available for all of their embryo biopsying. It doesn't matter what their age is, but clearly in a, in a population of 38 years and older, we move to IVF a little quicker, and then it really does make sense to suggest that biopsying the embryos as the incidence of an aneuploid embryo increases, as age increases, we're gonna be able to hopefully isolate normal embryos, and even in an older age population, what we have found is that even in 41, 42-year-olds, transferring a single euploid embryo has led to a very, very outstanding pregnancy rate. And ultimately, you might think about transferring two, but we really are, are, are really in an effort to try to avoid a twin pregnancy at all costs. You know, I think that we do see younger patients that have had recurrent pregnancy loss, or they may have a genetic abnormality, a translocation, a balanced translocation. I don't think the data is yet in. We don't have solid data that we know that uh, doing CCS is a great treatment for recurrent pregnancy loss. I think that's still to come, but we are nonetheless suggesting to patients that have had recurrent loss where we've done a complete fertility workup. We've ruled out any autoimmune phenomena, their uterus is normal, there are no hormonal abnormalities. We've done a full reproductive loss workup. I think it, it's a little more satisfying for patients to get a chromosomally normal embryo back. Many of may have had losses so early, biochemical losses, or, or very early where we didn't get a tissue diagnosis and we're able to now provide them with a little more firm ground to stand on and well, at least we're putting back a chromosomally normal embryo. This may improve your chances, but again, I caution the, the good randomized controlled data is not yet in on that.